Welcome friends. Today let's discuss the 10 minor problems that most people might encounter with Okinawa praise and I praise. First to the headlights. The headlight of the praise and I praise are mounted on the apron and not on the handlebar of the scooter. They behave like the headlights of a car as you can see in this video. On roads that have no street lights and have hairpin bends, the headlight might be a problem. Generally, it's not a big deal on well-lit roads, but on roads with no street light, it could be a problem. This is because the headlight will beam straight ahead and follow the direction of the scooter and not the direction of the handlebar. When you turn the scooter left or right, the headlight falling on the road will be a V-built plate into the turn. It could be dangerous when encountering sharp turns on unlit high-range mountainous roads like in Iduki or Vainad in Kerala, Sayadri Ghats in Maharashtra and roads in Himachal Pradesh. Also the reach of the headlight is a little less. Both of these can be rectified by fixing LED headlights on the handlebar. Well, our next problem is in this picture. Can you see it? It screams out to you. Can you see it in this picture? Wonder if you can find it. No? Now look how the girl has placed her feet on the footrest. The footrest is very less for the pillion rider. They have to place their feet in an awkward manner. Then there is a side footrest, but that too is not very sturdy and can break due to frequent use. Number three is the backrest. Backrest gets in the way of the pillion rider while getting on or off the scooter. The backrest is good for the pillion rider on longer rides because it distributes the body weight and makes it more comfortable for the pillion rider. But the backrest in the Okinawa praise comes in the way of the pillion rider when he hops on or off the scooter. Okinawa I praise doesn't come with the backrest. This is because the company seems to be paying attention to the customer feedback. Number 4. Batteries Okinawa I praise comes with lithium ion removable batteries which can be carried to its charging point but they are not portable to carry every day portable batteries are a boon but the batteries of iPrays weigh 10 kilos each this means you have to carry about 20 kilos to charge it in comparison an empty cooking gas cylinder weighs just 15 kilos we wouldn't say it is impossible but it would be inconvenient to carry the batteries for daily or even once in three days to charge it. The task would become even more difficult if you were to carry it over the stairs. Yet it is a very good option to have because in case you are far away from your house and the battery drains out and there is no EV charging point nearby then you could remove the battery take it to the nearby house restaurant or shop and charge it up. So this is a very good advantage as well. But Please do not expect to remove the batteries and recharge and carry it over to your home every single day. That is not practical. Not every Okinawa scooter reviewer will tell you about the weight of the batteries combined. Still, it is better to have a portable battery like iPraise than to have a fixed battery. Number 5. Odometer The odometer is inaccurate. It is optimistic about the scooter's speed by around 10%. So if the odometer is showing 65 kilometers, then the scooter is actually traveling only at 60 kilometers per hour speed. In actual use, it doesn't matter if you are ahead or behind the actual speed by 5 kilometers. But wait, there's more. The trip meter is like the movie character Gajni. It suffers from short term memory loss. The scooter can remember the kilometers covered only till the trip is over. Once the vehicle is switched off, the trip meter goes back to zero. This might not sound much for a petrol scooter, but for an electric scooter, the user depends entirely on the trip meter to decide when it is time to recharge the scooter. This is more so because the information showing the remaining charge of the battery is also inaccurate. The bars indicating the battery charge levels keep increasing or decreasing inaccurately. So you cannot trust such information shown on the odometer 100%. Anyway, there are two ways you can get around this. A. Take pictures of the odometer on your phone before you power off the scooter. Once you have done 100 kilometers, then you can plug it into recharge and then delete the pictures from your phone. Or charge the scooter every second or third day depending on how far you travel every day. Poor overall made in China build quality. 
Made in China means there is always an inferior build quality attached to the product. In this product, the plastics used for the body is quite inferior. Poor quality of the plastic makes it easy for the cracks and breaks to happen. Poor quality of plastic also makes it easy for the front wheel guard to come apart quite easily. This is a problem for people who use unpaved roads or rough or semi-paved roads or even roads with potholes. This is because of the poor quality of connector used to connect the mudguard to the shock observers. Also, switches on the handlebars are placed further away from where your hand holds the handlebar. Number 7. Heavy Scooter Lead Acid Praise is a heavy scooter. It is almost as heavy as an Enfield bullet. So, waving in and out of vehicles waiting at signals at very low speed is not easy. It is not impossible, but you will have to get used to the center of gravity of the scooter. If the scooter falls down, then it is that much more difficult to lift it back up. A longer braking distance in praise. It is like you have an extra person sitting on your scooter. When you are riding alone, 90 kilo of battery weight makes it feel like there is the weight of another person on the scooter. When you are riding with a pillion rider, it feels like there are three people on the scooter and the braking distance is longer by that much. Number 9. Wobble the scooter wobbles when you take the hands off the handlebars. Thus, this is not for the daredevils who love hands-free riding and who likes to do stunts on their scooters. It could also be a blessing in disguise because youngsters riding it will not be able to do such stunts with the scooter, thus making it a safer scooter for teenagers. Number 10. Inferior Seat Quality the scooter has inferior seat quality. The materials used for the seat is soft and uncomfortable. The seat should have been much harder and firmer. It is better you can get the seats replaced in the aftermarket with a new one. And this can be done for around 1000 rupees. In iPraise, the height of the footrest, in spite of no batteries under the footrest, is still the same. Thus, it is a little uncomfortable sitting with the feet placed in a higher position. The footrest of the iPraise should have been lower than the praise because now the batteries are placed under the seat and not under the footrest. So these are the 10 problems that one might face when you own a Okinawa praise or I praise. But overall, all of these issues are quite minor and many of them could have been solved by the company itself. Like the headlights, the company could have replaced the headlight for a thousand rupees. The side footrest could have been a little more stronger. The seat could have a firmer material for below 1000 rupees. So all this could have been done for less than 4000 rupees per scooter. So just can't understand why Okinawa is not doing it. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon in another video. And as always, like, share and subscribe to the video. Bye.